All right, so we're taking a look at Nisha's action skill right now. Uh, her action skill is Showdown. Yeah, Showdown's uh, this kind of cowgirl promise that uh, Nisha has. When you activate, you go into this uh, spaghetti western mode where you have the sepia tone and this really cool music and you, you target the, um, the critical spots on all of the enemies around. But you do have to uh, be active in it because you hold that left trigger and you flick between enemies trying to take out as many as you possibly can. Yeah, and I mean, uh, especially if you're using something cool like a, like a Jacob's revolver, you're going to be pulling that trigger nonstop, yeah. and you're going to be kind of fanning between all of your all of the enemies available. What's really cool though is that we have skills that will allow you to, to stretch out, so you can be in showdown for minutes. Yeah, the more kills you get, the longer it's it's going to last. All right, now we're taking a look at the Law and Order tree. And this is a really interesting tree because um, it kind of focuses on the idea of pain and gain. That is sort of give and take in combat. Um, as Nisha takes damage in some of these areas, uh, she can actually become stronger, either dealing more damage in return or even getting her shield back. Um, this also kind of focuses on her bull whip, which is her melee ability. Yeah, and this is the first time we've actually had a long distance melee weapon in Borderlands. Um, this is also the Fan the Hammer tree, uh, which focuses much more on, on, on pistols. And what's really cool uh, about the capstone skill in this one is that she's able to duplicate her pistol and essentially gun zerk. Yeah, but, but the really cool thing about this is it's for the rest of the game. Once you have this capstone, if you have a pistol, you then duplicate to have two pistols for the rest of the entire game. Very cool. And the last skill tree is the Rifle Woman. This is very much our sort of classic cowboy concept. You know, it's all about run and gun, hip fire, headshots, um, a lot of fun. Uh, we're, I think today, though, we're going to focus on the Law and Order skill tree. Yeah, I think uh, Law and Order really shows some of Nisha's personality. You know, she, she kind of takes a, a bit of pleasure in taking that pain and dealing it back to the bad guys. It's also very flashy because um, as she's getting her order stacks from, being, from taking damage, uh, these sheriff badge icons will pop up on the screen. And whenever you use her capstone course with her melee, uh, she'll do this massive uh, shock damage uh, to enemies, and it just lights up the room very nicely. Yeah, it looks great. Very cool. All right, now we're going to hit the ground running. Um, people that have seen the uh, E3 demo will remember that uh, Jack has been working with a boy named Pickle uh, to help him find a military AI. Yeah, this is a direct continuation of our E3 demo, and uh, we've made our way finally to the Drakensburg, which is this derelict Dahl ship that's crashed here. And we've been given information that uh, there is a military AI in here being held by a guy called the Bosun, and uh, he's being held by another person called the Skipper, and they're going to stop us, uh, tr at least try and stop us from getting that military AI, because it's what's keeping the ship running. Right, and they're able to uh, effectively stop us because they have an army of scavs exactly. at, their, at their disposal. But what are scavs? Well, the scavs are these uh, ex dahl engineers who came down to mine Elpis years ago before the Krakening. But when the Krakening happened on Elpis, uh, Dahl abandoned them and they've been stuck here and they've been scavenging and, uh, you know, they've gone a bit stir-crazy. But they've, they've made do and a lot of them are living in the Drakensburg ship right now. So they, they don't want you to come and steal their military AI, even though Jack needs it to power up his loaders. Yeah, they don't seem too keen uh, by our presence. Very cool. Now, uh, Nisha just did her cryo slam nice. because of her Oscar, which is really cool. Um, I think one of my favorite things about the pre-sequel uh, is that you're able to freeze enemies and shatter them. It just looks so awesome. Yeah, I mean, the fact that we're in low gravity just makes it even more beautiful. When you shatter someone like Nietzsche did with a nip right, her whip right there, you see their ice chunks floating off into the orbit. And Nisha just hit uh, th this robber with her whip, and you can see that it was a fairly long distance melee, and she was able to sh now get a good shock going with it. And you can see those uh, Sheriff Stars are coming up now, which means that she's been taking that damage and she can then deal it back. So she stores that up just to give it straight back to them. Yeah, you know, in your traditional uh, combat, you're always kind of wanting to keep your, your shields up and your health. But uh, Nisha kind of kind of has some fun with that concept because um, you want her to take damage. You know, you don't want to go down all the time, but like you want uh, your, you want to be taking hits because it makes you more powerful. Yeah, I think our designers have actually had a lot of fun taking the player character's personality um, into their minds when they've designed their skills. What large groups, what's really a, a great ability is for Shodan because she's able to clear them out really quickly. 
you know, getting massive numbers of crit shots in a very short period of time. I mean, she just made short work of those two scavs. Oh, we see a uh, claptrap in the distance there, going to pirate ship mode. Uh, yeah. He's helping us out, taking out some scavs himself. It was very nice. It's always good to have a friend along, especially someone like Claptrap, because yeah. he's very eager to please. Definitely. He'll take any friend he can get. And you see the uh, the scabs, one of them had a little badge icon above his head. That's to kind of show like who's been dealing damage to you uh, and who you can impact with, because some of uh, Nisha's skills focus on that. Yeah, she's a little bit into revenge, Nisha. That's all right, though. Yeah, this guy's to... asking for it, I think. Oh, yeah. He's been dealing quite a bit of damage. And that whip just took his, his health down to by half, which is really cool. And he's done. All right, so we're heading inside the Drakensberg now. Uh, they're probably not, uh, you know, waiting to hand over their military eye for us. You know, as nice as that would be, we're probably going to encounter some resistance. Yeah, that's okay, because I've got a really good feeling about Showdown in this room. Once we get their attention, she uh, should be able to clear them all out pretty quickly. Good slam to start it off with. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it effectively just took down, I think, three or four scabs right there. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah, Nisha really likes to come into a room and clear it from, from the opening door. See if she can shatter these enemies in time. Uh, he defrosted just in time to get shot. Yeah, I think it all worked out. And that was uh, Claptrap's uh, clap in the box <laughs> skill right there in action. People may have noticed that he was walking by with one of those uh, like old tiny uh, uh, bombs with like the short the views on it. Very cute. Uh, that was a huge amount of damage right then. Yeah, and you know, we're in true Vault Hunter mode, so enemies here are going to be tougher. They're also going to deal a lot more damage. Um, and with the way that Nisha is specced out today, that actually works in her favor. And you see, we're in oxygen at the moment, so these guys are going to maintain that burning status. <laughs> Looks like the boson isn't just going to give us the AI. No, pro probably not on the top of his priority list at the moment. Uh, he's probably going to get the skipper to try and stop us, I think. Well, that's all right, because, uh, you know, Nisha's very powerful. She's got Claptrap to back her up. Should be fine, I, th I think. Yeah. I think they might be having uh, some troubles in their relationship as well, the Skipper and the Bosun. So uh, there's a chance we may be able to sway her to our side. Yeah, the Skipper might come in handy. Looks like the uh, the bosun has sent some more enemies to come and try to stop us. Let's get an awesome slam in here. Yep. Nice. Very nice. Nisha just cleared out all of his shields with her bullet. And uh, Nisha's just been clap trapped as well. Uh oh. With uh, fun zerking. Slam. Nice. Very cool. I mean, that scout was. Uh, had a lot of health left still, and she just knocked him out with that whip. Yeah, well, it looks like the skipper may have some reasons to help us after all. Excellent. All right, so it looks like we have a new ally uh, with the skipper. She's going to open the door for us and get us outside. And I think that's a great time for us to kind of wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for, uh, for tuning in. Uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel comes out in North America on October 14th. Uh, and it comes out October 16th in Australia and October 17th the rest of the world. Thanks, everyone. Bye.
行かないんだ